Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Welcome to a collaboration project between Thumplet and SETI's MathFirst on Hong Kong International Math Olympiad questions. For this one, what is the minimum value of x such that 2021 divides x factorial? As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, for you guys that aren't familiar with what this last part meant, or the 2021 divides x factorial, it simply means that x factorial is divisible by 2021. So it's just a fancy way to say that x factorial is divisible by 2021. Now, first, let's try to make some primary observations on this number. Because, well, some of you might already know that 2021 is 42 times 47. But just in case you don't know and you want to be convinced about it, you can take a look at this proof here. Well, 2021 is 2025 minus 4. Well, 2025 is 45 squared, 4 is just 2 squared, and just, just use the difference of squares formula to factor into these two. Now, 45 minus 2, this will give you 43, and then 45 plus 2, that's going to give you 47. So that's pretty much it. Anyways, so let's go back to the item we want x factorial to be divisible by 2021, and we realize that 2021 is 43 times 47, then this simply means that x factorial, if I expand it, or in the prime factorization of x factorial, it should contain the factors 43 and 47. And I explicitly said about prime factorization because 43 and 47 are actually prime. So if I made x equal something random like 30, for example, well, it, well, 30 is less than 43 and 47, so it's obviously not the 30 factorial. Well, we know that 30 factorial is just 30 times 29 and all the way up to 1. So obviously, there are no 43 or 47s in the highlighted part over here. So, well, actually from this, we can already get the answer. And the answer for x must be at least 47. Because, for example, if x was 47 factorial, then obviously if I expand 47 factorial, I'll get 47 times 46 and so on until 1. And well, somewhere here, we're going to get a 43. And that's essentially it. We must make x at least 47 because, well, if x was less than 47, let's say 46 and below, then x factorial would never have a factor of 47. So for this item, the minimum value of x is 47. And this will be, and this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!